Hello and welcome to your yoga practice. This is gonna be a quick morning flow to wake your body up, connect with yourself, connect with your baby, and just get ready for an amazing day. If you haven't practiced with me before, my name is Arissa, and I'm so glad that you're here. So we're gonna begin right away in mountain pose standing. If you do have a bolster, you can grab that and have it just behind you. If you don't, you could have some pillows or maybe a folded blanket or two or some blocks can work as well. If you don't have anything, don't even worry about it, okay? So we're gonna start in standing, feet wider than hip width, and just take a moment to rock a little side to side. Notice where your center of gravity is today. It's changing every day. And then if you're rocking, just pause, slow down, and then just find your center. Your hands can be at your sides or you can have them on your belly, on your baby. Take a deep breath in through the nose and then exhale out of your mouth, releasing the shoulders down, exhaling out and connecting with this present moment. Ground down through your feet, feel supported from the earth and reach the crown of your head up towards the sky. Beautiful. And then we're just gonna start with some really gentle swaying. So just start to sway your arms. Let your arms float out and sway. You can move your hips. Find your breath, find some movement, let it be fluid. Hmm, getting ready, waking yourself up for this new beautiful day. It's a blank slate, anything can happen. In this moment, these next few minutes are just for you, for you and baby. Okay, so finding some stillness, ground down through your feet, inhale slowly, arms will reach up towards the sky. Beautiful, and then exhale, palms facing down as you float your arms out. Pause with your arms parallel with the floor, then press your hands back and open up across your chest, maybe even lifting the heart up just a little. Ah, opening your heart to this new day, to all the opportunities, all of the blessings. Breathe deeply. And then arms will reach up again. And then bring your palms together at your heart and sit your butt back, coming into a chair pose. So feet are wide, so it's a modified chair pose. Sit the butt back, strengthen your legs. Hug your baby with your belly, pull it in. And then we're gonna stand all the way up, reach your arms up, getting length. As you exhale, sit the butt down, knees bend, palms to your heart. Good, press into your feet. Take one full breath here, you've got this, warming up. Stand all the way up. Getting long, maybe opening the arms, open to receive, and then palms together back to your chair pose variation. Maybe sinking the butt a little deeper this time, maybe not, no worries. Stand all the way up, open up like a flower greeting the sun. And then one more time, chair pose. Last time, I promise. <laughs> Keep breathing power and strength in. You are so unbelievably powerful. You are growing a human inside of you. Inhale, arch back, reach up. And then bring your hands down to your thighs or your knees. So start to bend, but take your feet a little wider now. Toes point out slightly. Hands to your knees. We're gonna sink down into a squat, like a yogi squat. So start to bend your knees. You can use your... Um, hands as support. We're going to sit all the way down. If you have that bolster, your blocks, whatever you've got, you can sit on that. Even like a low stool could work or nothing. You can be in the air or you can even just stay up here. That's an option as well. Okay. If you're sitting all the way down or wherever you are, maybe your hands are on your knees or maybe you can bring your palms together in front of your heart. And then just breathe into your hips, breathe some openness. Can you relax and open? <sighs> Slow, deep breaths. This is an opportunity for you to set an intention for your whole day. <sighs> I 
Amazing. One more breath here. Hug your baby into your belly. You're going to shift forward however you get there onto your hands and your knees. You can just move that bolster out of the way. So come onto your hands and your knees. Good. Fingers spread really wide. Grip the mat with your fingertips. Nice long spine. And then hug your baby in with your belly. Especially on the exhalations. We're going to do a bit of strengthening, a bit of balance. So round one, you're going to extend your left leg straight back and then bring it in. And then you're going to shift the weight and extend your right leg straight back. Squeeze the glute and then bring it in slowly with control, keeping your baby hugged in with your belly. Beautiful. So you can continue doing this. So we're going to do the left leg or option. Keep it there and you're going to extend your right arm forward as well. Squeeze, get length and then bring everything slowly down. You're moving with control and then we're going to alternate to the other side. So right leg back. You could just do your leg or you could do your arm as well. Lift. We're not arching the back. Now we're keeping it neutral and strong and then bring it down. So we're going to alternate a few more times. You could do just your arm or just your leg or you could do both. And you want to keep your core strong, keep your hips stable. You're doing amazing. Keep breathing. Building strength. You are powerful. You are beautiful. You are strong. Amazing. So finish with lifting your right leg up and then bring it down. Take your knees really nice and wide. The big toes can come closer together and then send your hips towards your heels. Come down onto your forearms, your belly is between your knees, and you could even bring your forehead all the way down onto the mat for child's pose. If that's not feeling good today or you're feeling like some acid reflux, you could either lift the head, you could put um, your head on some blocks, maybe even stacked fists could be enough, or just skip this pose if it's not feeling good. Taking this moment to find your center, stretch out your low back and your hips, to breathe some love into your body, Amazing. Slowly rise up back to your hands and knees. You're going to kickstand your right toes out and then extend your left leg down the mat. So your right toes can be tucked or untucked. Start to walk your hands over to the long edge of your mat. Perfect. And then you could stay here. Option one. Option two, you're going to walk your hands up. Hold that belly. You could even hold your belly or hug the baby in. Come all the way up. Amazing. Hands onto your hips or on your belly or reach them out to the sides. You can stay right here or lightly put your left hand down and then reach your right arm straight up and really breathe into your right lung. Create space in the side body, more space for your baby. Space and energy in this beautiful new day. Deep breaths. Feel free to exhale out of an open mouth. Wherever you are, you're going to release your hands back down and come back into tabletop. Perfect. So finding tabletop, nice long spine, hug your baby with your belly, and then kickstand your left toes out to the side. You can tuck the toes or not, extend your right leg down the mat, and then walk your hands over to the long edge of your mat. You might feel a really deep stretch in your right inner thigh. Breathe into that. You can stay right here again. Whatever you did on the other side, do the same on this side. You could walk your hands in. I'm going to come all the way up. That's feeling good for me. You can keep your hands down. Maybe reach your arms out. You could also have your hands on your hips or your belly. And then if you want, you could bring your right hand down if you did on side one and then reach your left arm up and think about 
creating so much space between your ribs on the left side, breathing into the left lung, opening up your heart to this new day, creating space in your body. Maybe take a big cleansing breath out of your mouth, making a sound. <sighs> Good. And if you're up, we're gonna come all the way down. Come back to your hands and knees. Just take a pause and then come and find a comfortable seat. You can sit cross-legged. You could sit up on something. I'm gonna lift my hips up a little bit here. You could also sit on your heels, sit on a pillow, a bolster, whatever you would like. Oh, sit tall and then close your eyes. We're just going to finish with a short little meditation. Bring one or both hands over your belly. Notice how you're feeling right now, just after the short little bit of movement and intention. Sending light with your breath and love with your breath into your belly, to your baby. Bring one hand now over your heart. And as you breathe, imagine sending love from your heart to your baby and back. And I want you to think of one word that you want to focus on and bring in to the rest of your day. It might be peace, calm, joy, playfulness, ease, curiosity, love, relaxation, energy, whatever it is, and then breathe that feeling into all of your cells. Exhale out anything that is not that. <sighs> Again, breathe it in. And exhale, release. <sighs> Pause. Notice. Feel. And then bring your palms together in front of your heart. We're gonna seal our practice with the chant of one ohm, sending that ohm out into the world, that loving vibration into your entire body, all of your cells, and of course, to your baby. Okay, so take a deep breath in. You can chant with me or just receive. Take a deep breath in. Oh. Namaste. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. If you enjoyed this class, like this video, drop me a comment. Let me know what your word is, what you're focusing on today. I would love to hear from you and make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can receive more videos from me to support you on your pregnancy journey. Have a wonderful day.